Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Mercer. And as we promised you from last week, we're going to show you the outcome of the AWA Women's Championship match featuring the champion, Sherry Martell, and her challenger, Candy Devine. We'll also have a great mixed tag team match with Lance and Iceman teaming up with Sherry and Candy. And an exciting Mexican girls battle between Gatu Vera and La Serenita. And our star find event. For those of you who tuned in last week, as we promised, here is the outcome of the Sherry Martell, Candy Devine, AWA Women's World Championship. And it is Sherry Martell being hanged, tucked by the hair into the ring. Candy Devine ripping the champion as she pulls Martell by the nearest handle, her hair right back into the battle on Wild West Wrestling's mat. Martell flying here. Candy Devine, the former champion, trying to win it back. One, two, but not enough for three. As Candy goes flying. Candy Devine and Martell. Battling for the AWA Women's World Championship. Martell owns it. Candy had it. She wants it back. Young lady from Nashville, Tennessee on her back and then holding beautifully on that extended arm lock. And Martell is still in trouble. A chop in the eyes. And Martell does not get the hole broken. Candy Devine slamming, pounding, trying to tear that arm out of its socket as she works on the champion. Trying to force her to submit right now and pick up that championship. But Martell has shown that she's tough and gritty with a good set of bicuspid. She just bit into the leg of Candy Devine. A roll up very quickly. One, two, no, not three. And Martell did not defend her championship right there. And here comes Candy right back. You're going west, go Wild West. Wild West Wrestling. Coming here from Billy Bob's, Texas, on the north side, the famous stockyard section of Fort Worth. Billy Bob's, one of the most colorful, exciting entertainment areas in the country. Martell now coming back as she slams Candy into that mat. It's a dive into her head, and Candy Devine suddenly loses the momentum. Martell picks it up. Martell, reverse headlock, twisting, trying to go into a neck breaker. And then rips down across the face, across the back, and Devine, finding herself now losing that edge that she had earlier in this championship bout with Sherry Martell. Now, this is the bout that we did not finish last week, showing you the latter part of the outcome of this bout, Martell and Devine, because as Devine takes a tough blast from Martell, there goes Candy, the challenger. Because on this edition of Wild West Wrestling, our main event, Candy Devine and the fabulous Lance team up against Cherry and Iceman King Parson. Here's Devine, and a squat in the back, and out goes Martell. Now that was over the top row, but the impetus was really created. We looked at it from a referee's point of view by Martell after she took the blow, and Martell takes a blow to the back as she hits the floor of Billy Bob Texas. And Candy now in the center of the ring as Martell tries to come back and get in the ring in time. But Martell knocked away by Devine, so the count will have to start again. That's a champion. An irritated champion right now, but certainly the champion. Here comes Martell in again with a nice clip by Candy Devine. Candy got a catapult her. Martell has taken a lot of punishment at the hands of Candy Devine. And again, Martell is catapulted back, and the referee goes down. Now, Harold is in trouble now. Once again, Devine. Got to give her a back record. She got to be able to get the pin here. One. The referee slowly finding his equilibrium. Martell seeking to avoid 
submitting to this. Manages to get the hand on the rope. There's the break. And Martell comes back. One, two, no, not three. Now it's a pin on the other side, a kick in the head. And Martell is off. Very close to both sides winning this bout. Surfboarding. And Martell screaming in pain as Candy Devine puts the pressure on. As Candy stands in this position with Martell in tow, let me remind you the next bout features that exciting young man from Nigeria, Laddie, the African Tiger, coming up next on Wild West Wrestling against the new spoiler, a magnificent physical wrestler. A tremendous amount of talent. And Martell showing her talent coming back now. He's trying to get back in this bout with Candy Devine. Off the rope. Fine drop kick by Martell. And Sherry Martell has an opportunity right now to win this bout. One, two, but not enough. Devine rolls her off. And once again, the referee ends up shaking a bit. Here's Devine in the corner. Martell trying to punish and win all at the same time now. Gary ripping and tearing and Devine pounding in the midsection. A close line. Here comes Devine. One, two. And again, Martell saves the bounce. Using the nearest amount of hair for a little leverage, Candy Devine. Those are the body scissors on Sherry Martell, the champion. <laughs> Two extremely talented young women, Martell and Devine. Martell, the champion, trying to get the pin here. And then pulls Devine up by the hair of her chinny chin chin and drops her. Mary Martell probably has in mind that she's taken a lot of punishment time to dish out some. Because Devine has had the momentum until the latter quarter of this bout. Andy, good puncher inside. And another tremendous clothesline. Martell down again. Candy sensing she's got an opportunity here. Another one. Now on top with the pin. One. Two, but Martell with a foot, the right foot on the bottom rope. And Candy Devine didn't like the slow count, she said. Martell is up again. Devine right up there. Pounding on the inside. That's Martell with a hit. Sliding off. And this time it's Devine who's pounded down. One, two, three, and Cherry Martell. Picks up the rim, but the foot was on the bottom rope. Let's see if she's going to count that. Nope, he waves it off. It was not a three count. Candy Devine had her foot on the bottom rope. But the bout goes on. Now Devine whips Martell into the corner. Flying body slam, but there was no Candy Devine there. Now on top of the pin. One, two, and just missed for three. Another body slam by Candy. Going to the top rope. The young challenger trying for the championship. And she misses on a great move by Martell. So Devine is shaken up. One, two, three. Sherry Martell defends her championship. And still the AWA Women's World Heavyweight Champion, Sherry. Martell. Sherry Martell may be retaining her championship, but she was given a tremendous challenge by the former champion, Candy Devine, and Martell must be awfully, awfully happy to survive Billy Bob Spring with that victory. We'll be back with the African Tiger next on Wild West Wrestling. Wild West Wrestling's second bout on this edition. 
And it is the new spotter to your left. Right there attacking Laddie, the African Tiger, before Laddie can finish disrobing and the spoiler. Look at the arms on that man. The new spoiler battling on Laddie, the African Tiger, before Laddie was set. So the new spoiler goes after it. Tough. And he knows that Laddie is particularly tough himself. 265 pounds. A young man from Nigeria, former soccer star, graduate of the University of Georgia, where he played football. Laddie coming off the ropes. Spoiler, the new spoiler. Showing off his tremendous physique as he splatters the Tiger once again with the elbow. Oh, the new spoiler got the jump on the belt and has had Laddie the African Tiger on the run. Another mean shot to the jaw and to the neck of Laddie the African Tiger by the new spoiler. And that big man from wherever he may be has really displayed a tremendous amount of aggressiveness. Count of two, but Laddie shucks him off. Billy Bob's Texas and Wild West Wrestling. What a combination. As again, the new spoiler chokes Laddie over the top rope. Speaking of that combination, this Tuesday at Billy Bob's Texas, we've got national taping of our syndicated program, and Spoiler may have it right here. One, two, and not three. Look at Laddie toss him off there. The new Spoiler, questioning the count, thought it was a little slow, but Laddie managed to show his ability, and now he's got him on a one-foot switch. Up, a drop, and Laddie comes right back on the new spoiler. As I was saying at Billy Bob's Texas this Tuesday, tremendous continuing feud between Iceman and Lance. No disqualification because they're going to battle this one to the finish. As Laddie the African Tiger now finds his new set of adrenaline and goes after the new spoiler. A magnificent, well-defined young man. Tremendous physique. See, he's really been working out. Laddie with a fine drop kick just missed it. And this Tuesday, in addition to Iceman and Lance, which is a tremendous battle as that great feud goes on because of Iceman zero, zero, zero. <laughs> We've also got Wild Bill Irwin and Mad Dog Buzz Sawyer, and that is a mad dog brawl right there. As Laddie has his head bounced off that corner buckle. Solomon Grundy, and the signs already going up the Grundy mania. He meets the outlaw, a buddy of Iceman. Three girls matches, one of them will be from Starfine. And everything is beautiful, exciting, fun, family-oriented. Wife, husband, father, kids, it's all great. At Billy Bob's Texas for Wild West Wrestling, economically priced, and a lot of fun around the wrestling with music and games and just the fun of being in one of the great spots of all this great state of Texas. Right now, the new spoiler is coming back against Lighty the African Tiger. Put him a shot to the head. Well, these are two finely tuned physical specimens. Here comes the new spoiler. Like he was going after a quarterback in that one. He missed. Laddie diving it on top of the new spoiler. One, two, three. And Laddie, the African Tiger, picks up the victory. What a tremendous Here's comeback by this young man. Laddie, one of African Tiger. One of 20 children in his home in Nigeria. There it is, and we'll be back with our next great feature of Wild West Wrestling in just a moment. From Wild West Wrestling, this bout features a Mexican ladies match. It's scheduled for one fall and has a 45 minute time limit. Introducing first, from Mexicali, Mexico, weighing 132 pounds, Gatu Veda. Her opponent for this match, weighing 136 pounds from Matamoros, Mexico, La Serenita. Harold Harris, the referee. A couple of the outstanding Mexican girls. That's La Serenita 
in the red outfit. And across the way in the cat mask, got to Vera. Looks like she's ready to uh, scratch and uh, not be a purring type kitten. As the referee checks to see she has no uh, kitten objects in her knee pads or her boots. And we're ready to go on this part, this edition of Wild West Wrestling. Hey, next week on our Wild West Wrestling program, we've got a great six-man tag team main event. John Tatum, Jack Victory, and the Outlaw against the missing link, Wild Bill Irwin and Jeff Rates. Our first star-fying girls competition and that mad dog Buzz Sawyer. So it's a great show next week right here on Wild West Wrestling. As you're watching, the young Mexican girls got two from Mexicali, La Serenita from Matamoros. Billy Bob's Texas. We'll be on him there Tuesday. And here's a gentleman stepping up here to join us for this bout, the president of Wild West Wrestling, Ken Mantel. Good to see you here. Thank you, Bill. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And it's uh, what a night here at uh, Billy Bob's, the uh, wrestling, the excitement, the the closeness is just a, a great evening. It's a very personal relationship between the, uh, the bouts, the wrestlers, and this great, I guess you call it a hall, this great area of fun and amusement that is Billy Bob. It sure is, Bill. A lot of action going on in the ring. These are two young ladies that uh, came here to uh, Billy Bob's to make a name for themselves, and they're going right after it. Got to Vera, the cat girl, and she is ripped across by La Serenita. You know, one of the things that very quickly Wild West Wrestling has found is uh, an exciting building battle, and that's Lance and Iceman Keen Carson, which was an interesting uh, startup. Sometimes you, you put people into a bout and they uh, get mad at each other and have a fight, but here was something that didn't even relate to either one of them. It's uh, actually at Iceman's zero, zero, zero. Who will ever forget that? Huh? Well, who will, Bill? And you know, Iceman uh, King Parsons is all the fans, especially... Uh, here in the Metroplex, and I guess around the world know that Iceman over the last few months has really had a change of, of heart, of outlook, and through all of that, you know, this all really started when he faced the star find uh, giant uh, Solomon Grundy, right. and uh, Iceman lost that under disqualification. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, he took a lot, a lot of ribbing about that <laughs> yeah. uh, along, around the locker rooms and around the world. What a move. I want you to watch, Look Bill. These what, girls can really move. What a move. You talk about athletic ability now. They are on one another. But you're right. Uh, it was a great uh, bruise of the ego for uh, Iceman King Parsons to lose that bout, even though it was one of those where over-the-top rope deal, but that's still losing it, and a professional doesn't uh, make that mistake, especially against a rookie. That's right, Bill. Went into the record books as a loss. And uh, Iceman was offended by that, embarrassed, I'm sure, and uh, that's where it, where it really started. Uh, and then the little sidebar thing when they put the, the count up there and he wasn't supposed to be, <laughs> supposed to be judged, that really bruised it more. That really did bruise it, and that was not an official judging, as you made clear in that match. Iceman would not be scored. Sure. Uh, that was, uh, again, maybe it's something that's really done in jest, and, uh, but Iceman took it personally, and you know where it's led to. Uh, it's gone from just hurt feelings now to Iceman having uh, the fabulous Lance held and slapping him and beating, banging on him and uh, hurting him, and uh, there's going to be some dues to be paid. While we're watching these two really outstanding girls from Mexico, and they, as they said, the great moves, and they are tough, just tough as uh, old shoe leather. They battle each other and uh, give no quarter. It's sort of an international flavor. Now, Wild West wrestling, as we said, is sort of a, uh, a synonym for a particular part of the world. But Wild West wrestling is really something of this country because the West started when this country started right on the East Coast and just moved a little farther toward the extreme corner of the West. But we are uh, very international with these two Mexican girls, Gatu Vera. And La Serenita, we're also seen in St. Croix Virgin Islands on WSBI and Carolina Puerto Rico at WSJU. So around the world, across the West and across the nation, here we come, Wild West Wrestling. Go West, go Wild West, Bill. You know, that's true. And although the show is called Wild West Wrestling, it does not refer to just the West. There's a Wild West atmosphere, a Wild West spot 
in every city, every town that was ever in America. That's right. Somewhere there was a western frontier That's in right. every city. That's right. Boston had the, was it, was it the right at the edge of the west? That's right. That's sure right. Uh, and I'd hate to have to walk all that way in those days. <laughs> <laughs> nice leg move. These, you know, these girls are very agile, Bill, and they know they're wrestling. They, they, they're wearing one another down, going for the pin. This is a, this is a good match. A I, strong girl. Oh, and a drop. Pound for pound, you know, they're probably as strong as most of the guys. One, two. Oh, just missed it. She got a shoulder up just in time. Got to Vera. Got to. Got to is the uh, male name for that uh, for the cat. <laughs> One, not two, not quite three. And got to Vera and La Serenita. Battling on really even terms here. Here comes La Serenita. High in the air. She dies. This might do it. One, two, no. Got to Vera shoves her off. I don't know how she managed to do that. La Serenita taking this foul to her. Now got to Vera is going to try to come back. Shot across the chest. Quite a shiver. You know, pound for pound now, Bill. That's the equivalent of what we just saw with Laddie and his massive body uh, taking out the, uh, the new spoiler. Suplex. Suplex, same moves, and, and pound for pound, they feel it just like we do the men. Count of two again, and got to Vera, shoved uh, La Serenita off there. Yeah, 132 pounds going like this in a full match. A lot of dynamite. Put in a bear hug and drop, got to right on the back of her head. Now, what, now watch this now, Bill. She's going for a, this is a high pressure move. This is putting pressure on the back of her neck, her shoulders, her arms. And uh, she just got to, just kicked it off enough to come out of it without a submission. A tremendous hold. These girls have shown us some holes you haven't seen on a regular basis. In the corner, shot right in the neck, another shiver in there. And got to, Vera is trying to pick up the momentum now. Comes a cat girl. And Serenita steps into a foot. Watch got to Vera. A springing. Up to the top rope. Right Iris, top. Iris move. Oh, she missed it. Here comes La Serenita. Reverse chin. Put on her back. And she makes the cat girl submit. She gave up. Great work by La Serenita, got to there, and you can tell the crowd is ecstatic over the work of these two outstanding young ladies from Mexico. La Serenita. La Serenita, the winner. And we've got a winner coming up. Our star find is next on Wild West Wrestling. Thanks for being with us on this bout, Ken. Thank you, Bill. This is our main event of Wild West Wrestling from Billy Bob's, Texas. It's a tag team mixed doubles event with Iceman and women's AWA champion Sherry Martell right there. And they'll be meeting Lance and Candy Devine. A great bout with great champions right here on Wild West Wrestling. What a lovely robe Sherry Martell is wearing in the ring, along with her little uh, chair, but looks like an Irish leprechaun. Iceman, Keith Parsons. Ken Mantell, the president of Wild West Wrestling, is there. I don't suppose uh, you'd call Iceman a, a, a cherub, would you? Oh, <laughs> Bill, I'm not sure. I, I better pass on that comment. <laughs> uh, Iceman has been a very disappointing. His attitude and his outlook has been very disappointing of late. I guess he'd call that style. He's styling a little bit. Well, he's in great style right here with this very lovely athletic Sherry Martell. The fantastic champion she is. Oh, she sure is, Bill. She's a lovely lady. She's the AWA World Woman's Champion. And speaking of champions, here's the former champion, Candy Devine. As you saw at the first part of our program, we had the outcome of their bout from last week. And Candy was trying to win that championship back. And the very acrobatic, the very exciting, the very handsome Lance. Well, here it is, our main event on Wild West Wrestling. The Iceman and Sherry Martell. 
They're doing a little uh, jaw in there. A little talk. Psyching them out. I don't think those two will be psyched. They're going to psych right back. And we go to our ring announcer for the introduction of our main event. This event is scheduled for one fall. It has a 60-minute time limit. A mixed tag team match. First, introducing to my left from the red corner tonight, a former AWA Women's World Champion, Ms. Candy Devine. Her tag team partner for this event. From Dallas, Texas, please welcome the fabulous Lex. Their opponents for this match. First, from New Orleans, the AWA Women's Champion, Sherry Martell. Her tag team partner, sporting the new penguin tattoos upon his chest, from St. Louis, Missouri, the Iceman, Kim Tyson. Your referee is Harold Harris. Well, that's the introduction of our main event. Ken Mantell with us, and here at Billy Bob's, Texas, great, great entertainment center on the north side of Fort Worth. And Tuesday, we've got another tremendous battle coming up at Billy Bob. We sure do, Bill. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that uh, Iceman uh, Lance one-on-one, -on -one, no disqualification bout. Uh, it ought to really be exciting. It is also good to see Buzz Sawyer come into the arena because it is his nickname could not be more appropriate. The two nicknames, a mad dog and a buzzsaw. Boy, and he's all of the above. And you know he's going to be facing Wild Bill Irwin, and that ought to be a rough house match deluxe. Uh, you know, earlier I made a couple of comments about Iceman being disappointed in his attitude. Uh, that's my own personal opinion. Uh, we, we don't want to in any way take away from his ability and his... Uh, his worldwide acclaim, you know, Bill Mercer, here's a man that is probably uh, in the top five in the world today. That's right, internationally he is a, a superb, he's a superb athlete, a superb competitor, and a great, great personality. Just uh, kind of has a little different outlook at the moment. But that outlook is his own uh, embellishment of that ego that we talked about earlier. It sure is, but you know the ring is full of internationally known people also in that top five. And I'm talking worldwide, uh, is the fabulous Lance. And so. we're ready to go with the fabulous Lance, an ice man who steps away a little bit. Now, this all started, remember. This, this is the, the few that will be by itself in the ring Tuesday at Billy Bob's. And here comes Martell. It sure was. You, you notice that, Bill? Uh, Iceman tagged out. He wanted the girls to start. Uh, an obvious, uh, <laughs> he didn't want to start the match with uh, the fabulous Lance. Well, we're not going to have Iceman against Candy Divine. That's, a, that's just a little over on the, Candy's not, she doesn't care. She'll, she'll come right on. I mean, to see her against Martell, I'm not surprised. She said, come on, Iceman, I'll take it. She's a tough little gal. There's going to be a lot of excitement in this match, Bill. You know, Bill, I, I came out here, I, I wanted to say a special uh, congratulations to some folks uh, in the time of economics uh, that we're facing here in Texas. Uh, a good friend of mine, Charles Finolio, and a dedicated group of people in Sanger, Texas, got a charter and opened a new bank. And with all the bank failures we read about uh, worldwide, or at least around the United States, uh, I have to say to them, congratulations. And the, the community up there is going to be well served. And it's uh, up in my part of the country, and it's uh, a big plus. Well, that's optimistic work on their part, and certainly people who believe in the future of uh, their, their area. That's great. They uh, have a little bit of that Wild West spirit uh, <laughs> going against the grain and uh, by golly uh, going forward and uh, there's a group of dedicated people there as you. Oh, that was a great move, John. I hate to be talking when all this action is going on and there's Iceman kind of got what he deserved. Candy's, uh, yeah, Iceman put a shot at Candy and, and popped his own partner and then Candy popped the Iceman. So Candy Devine is not one uh, young lady you want to... Uh, uh, as they say with this slime, mess with Texas. Don't mess with candy. <laughs> <laughs> She's got that Sherry Martell rocking and rolling now. Here comes candy. Look at the strength of that young lady. She picks her up and body slams her like it was nothing but a little feather. Bang. And Sherry weighs about 130 pounds. That's a strong young lady. Pop. Ooh, and Sherry gave her a mean right to the chest. 
She's the champion. She knows all of the inside moves. You saw that quick little thumb in the throat. That was nicely hidden by Martell from the referee. Sherry Martell, the champion, and it'll choke across the top rope and then bounce her around. But it'll take more than that to get Candy Devine to either give up or to be in a position to be pinned. Bill, I can't stay out here with you long. I've got to run, but I did want to come by to hi to you and all the great fans. And look at that ice man now pulling that, <laughs> pulling that hair. That's not the Wild West spirit, but a lot of people out there, a lot of people in the audience have the Wild West spirit, and we're going west and we're going wild west. Thank you, Ken. We look forward to a long future. And Thank a you, great Bill. future like your bank fund. Right, a successful thanks. one. Ken Mantell, president of Wild West Wrestling, coming out to talk with us as we watch our main event here on Wild West Wrestling at Billy Bob's, Texas. And we'll be there this Tuesday with more excitement, more thrill. Jerry Martell and Candy Devine. A mixed tag team match. And uh, as you'd say in tennis, mixed doubles. Candy Devine protected by Lance, and then Martell bites the mat. Oh, no, baby. <laughs> Here's Martell thrown into the corner with Lance. And Candy Devine stays on the champion. She is pounding away. Lance keeping his distance. Gentleman that he is, and Candy Devine doing the job all by herself. Bringing Martell to the set of the ring. Says you got to give her a little catapult around here. She is very expert at this, and she does. Right on Iceman. Iceman shaking after that one. And here comes Devine right after Martell. Again, this Tuesday at Billy Bob's, Texas, on the north side of Fort Worth in the Stockyards Historic District. As Devine spins Martell off to the opposite corner. But Iceman does not make the tag. He says, what, what the heck? Stay out there and battle some. Iceman kind of pulls away, doesn't to make the tag again. Martell looking a little a puzzle over this one as Candy Devine has pounded around and really given Martell a tough time. Now the Iceman makes the tag and he comes in and it'll be Ice and Lance. Trying to get Lance to go out. He can't go out yet. Ice over Iceman choking on Candy Devine. Well, the referee has to count on Martell. They have to let Devine escape from the champion. He got the, again, another hair pull. And Iceman is out. And Devine. Spinning that arm of Sherry Martell. Telling you about Tuesday at Billy Bob's, Texas. Iceman right over there turning in the green trunks. The green tights. And Lance, the fabulous Lance on this side, their feud roaring, boiling, reaching the explosion point. A no disqualification bout. And that's just the way I'm sure both want it. Wild Bill Irwin in a brawl that to top all brawl with the mad dog Buzz Sawyer. Look at a great move by Martell. That leg flip. Solomon Grundy, and they've begun to have the Grundy mania with a 400-pounder from Pig Knuckles, Kentucky. Grundy meets the outlaw. Three girls matches, including one that features the girls from Starfine. And all of that, tremendous entertainment, excitement, athletic adventure at Billy Bob, Texas. Economically priced for the family, the kids, and there's a lot of... Uh, Fun and music around it as Lance comes in and takes on Iceman. Ripping into him though as Iceman coming right back. And the Iceman with Lance. A miss on the clothesline. Flying body slam, one. And Iceman kicks him off. This is the kind of excitement you'll see Tuesday at Billy Bob's between these two who have developed a tremendous hatred feud. They'll be there with no disqualification. Tuesday at Billy Bob's. By the way, Tuesday, the tickets at the Rainbow Ticket Outlet and at Billy Bob's Texas in Northside Fort Worth. So when we say go west, go wild west, we made right to Billy Bob's on Tuesday. And we'll be going around the west and other parts of the world with the fabulous 
athletic ability of Wild West Wrestling. That's Lance with a headlock on Iceman. Lance having his hair pulled back by Ice. Trying to break that hole, but I Lance holds on. Keeps the pressure on. Puts in more and more muscular pressure on the head of Iceman. While the girls, Candy in one corner, right there Martell, encouraging her partner, Iceman King Parsons. Lance comes up. That's a nice side move. That's a head scissors by Ice. Kicking out is Lance. Right back, scissors. And uh, Lance comes out of it again. Just a tremendous amount of athletic ability, force, and stamina. Finally, Iceman decides to take a little sanctuary outside the ring. Now, we're talking about great feuds. There's another tremendous feud going on between Hollywood John Tatum and the missing link. You don't want to get anywhere in the same building with these two. But they're going to be in our next week's program. A six-man tag team, the link, Wild Bill Irwin and Rates against Tatum Victory and Outlaw. And Wild Bill Irwin with a twist of uh, his wrestling personality. He's been teaming up with Link. Doesn't have anything good about to say about John Tatum or Jack Victory. Wild Bill Irwin. Battling Buzz Sawyer. <laughs> Buzzy man. A little bit of consolation and Maybe some uh, tips that Cherry Martell, the champion, giving Iceman. Cherry Martell, the AWA women's champion. Now Iceman doesn't want to come in the ring until Lance is all the way across the ring. Lance is so quick. Iceman sliding in very quickly. Our main event on Wild West Wrestling from the colorful, exciting Billy Bob's, Texas. And Lance pounds right in on Iceman, picks it up. Keeps the pressure on. Wide drop kick by Lance. And there's Iceman out of the ring again. Landing on the railing and being helped by his partner, Sherry Martell, the AWA champion. Oh, Lance really sending Iceman reeling about the ring now. And the ice comes right back in. Just a prelude to Tuesday. Great of it between Lance and Iceman, no disqualification this Tuesday at Billy Bob's Texas. Iceman, as you notice, quickly rolled over, somersaulted over, and tagged Sherry Martell for Martell and Divine. Back in the ring now. Martell, the champion, Divine, the former champion, in this mixed tag team main event on Wild West Wrestling. But Candy Divine pounding and pounding on Martell. Knee to the midsection. Miss Devine is tough to reckon with. And Martell may have lost it right there. One, two, no. But Sherry Martell's a tough customer. Shiver across the throat. And Candy caught from behind. Evidently Iceman reaching in and pulling her down before she could go over and... Put the pin on hook out. Here comes Outlaw in. Outlaw coming to the aid of Iceman as Iceman and Lance do battle. And Outlaw in the ring. That'll be a disqualification. As the Outlaw, a partner of Iceman, has suddenly come into the ring. Meanwhile, the battles go on. Shannon Devine working on Martell. But meanwhile, the Outlaw and Iceman after Lance. Here comes Solomon Grundy. Grundy and the Outlaw. And Grundy sends the Outlaw reeling. Now Lance has shot Iceman out of the ring. There goes Martell at the hands of Divine. And here are the winners. Lance and Divine as the Outlaw came in to upset the apple cart for Iceman. While he thought, I guess, protecting him. And there are the winners. 
Iceman. Jim Parsons and Sherry Mantell walk out. Your winners, the fabulous Lance and Candy Devine. Lance and Candy Devine with help from Solomon Grundy. Winners of our main event on Wild West Wrestling. Remember, Iceman and Lance meet Tuesday at Billy Bob's, Texas. And we'll be back to tell you more about Wild West Wrestling in just a moment. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Wild West Wrestling. We'll be at Billy Bob's, Texas next week, where you can see Lance and Iceman in their continuing dramatic feud. We'll have Wild Bill Irwin battling the mad dog, Buzz Sawyer. And the 400-pound Solomon Grundy takes on the outlaw. And Starfine, plus much, much more, right here on Wild West Wrestling. I'm Bill Mercer. See you next week. So long, everybody.